Tanya for the eleventh day of Av, for Yud Aleph Av, is in Igeres HaKedush. It's on Daf Kuv Vav Omid Aleph. It's in the fourth Igeres, and it's on pa- the page number at the bottom is 406. We're talking still about the virtue and the greatness of Tzedakah. And he's saying that, the, the Al-Tadeb is saying that there is the inner core of the heart, Pnimius Halev, which is trapped in unholiness because the person has gotten involved in the pursuit of worldly things to where it has touched the core of his heart and now he has to redeem that and reveal again the godliness that is at the core of the heart. Generally, this happens, it is completed only by by God himself. That God has to remove that covering that blocks the, the inner core of the heart from its godliness. Now, five lines from the top, on Daf Kuvav. Ah, but it is well known, that that which comes from above, the arousal above, initiative from above, he bisarusa dilatato dafkin. It comes necessarily as a response to an arousal from below. Bibachinas halos man along the lines of the elevation of the lower waters or of the feminine waters which means to say that the feminine the re- the receiver has to arouse the desire to give from the masculine in the masculine as the Gemara says that not a drop of rain comes from comes from above that isn't called for and, and caused by something below so that in order for us to have the, the revelation of godliness coming from above, we have to do the same or a similar act here below in order to create an arousal below that then causes a response, an equal and a corresponding response above. Therefore, the person has to begin this circumcision in himself and he has to remove from his heart both the coarse klipa and the fine klipa which covers and clothes the inner core of the heart and blocks out the godliness that is that category of love of God that is to the degree where God becomes your entire life, that is being blocked and that needs to be uncovered. She the goal is Salem has this core of the heart, this this utter love of God is in exile within the desires for worldly pleasures. Why Shaim Gam came to Bikinas Laman Chayecha Bizal Umazekinal? Because in worldly concerns there are also those concerns or those devotions that touch the person to the core of his heart, where it seems as if that is his whole life. And since he is devoted to worldly things, to such a degree that those worldly things are his whole life, that's why it blocks out the feeling that God is his whole life. So so he needs to remove that and, and reveal that love. So how do you do it? So before, Earlier, the Al-Tareb said that you can't do it by yourself. You have to wait for God to do it. But now the Al-Tareb is saying that to some degree we have to begin within ourselves to do that. And by this arousal or initiative below, the initiative within ourselves will cause it to happen from above as well. As the Rebbe explains, that every, it says that everything that will happen when Mashiach comes depends on our Aveda before Mashiach comes. Because that's the preparation that not only prepares us to be able to receive, but it also causes the giving to be given. So how do you do this? By giving tzedakah to God from one's own money. What does it mean from one's own money? say Because his life depends on that money and he gives it away, and particularly one whose, whose money is very limited. 
and the time is very difficult for him. And then he gives of that money to Tzedakah, Shanais and Mechai of Mamosh, then he is literally giving away a piece of life. And more specifically, how the Tzedakah affects all the, the entire being of the person who gives Tzedakah, it's because if he makes his living, if he makes a living through his own efforts, through work, it's, it's not likely at all, it isn't possible at all, that the person should go through the efforts of making a living without experiencing a number of times the, the, the desperateness in, in, his, in his attempt to make a living, in his efforts to make the living, where it was touched to the core of his heart where he felt that his very life was on was that was at stake, as is the custom of the world in people who engage in business, that there are times when you feel that your whole life has come to a crisis, so that when a person makes a living through his own effort, through makes a living through working, through the sweat of his brow, so he, he this money that he earned came to him through such a devotion that the core of the heart was involved and was touched by this pursuit of, of the livelihood. Now that he is giving away of his efforts and he's giving tzedakah to God with joy and with gladness of heart. Through this tzedakah he is redeeming his soul from its fall. Which means the core of the inner heart, which was in exile and in captivity, within the klipa, either the coarse or the refined klipa. Mikol Mishme Libcha from every Mishme, from every captivity, protect your heart or restrain your heart. Mishme means Beso Asudim. It means imprisonment. And he, and and we're told keep your heart from this imprisonment. But when the heart is involved in pursuit of worldly good, then it becomes imprisoned in it, the Aton Nivdimahitsainim, and now the, the soul is being ransomed and re- released from this imprisonment through this tzedakah that he's giving. And this is also connected and associated to the word priya, which is the peeling back of the, of the membrane in the circumcision, because the word priya, peeling back, is related to the word priyas chayv, paying back a loan. Because paying back a loan also, also means that he is peeling away his obligation and his indebtedness. By paying the loan, he frees himself of that, of that debt, of that obligation. Because when he engaged in the pursuit of physical pleasures, of worldly pleasures, he became devoted and subjected or indebted to the unholiness and now he is releasing himself and redeeming himself from that debt. So Priya means peeling back or removing an an indebtedness. And that is the meaning of the statement that the Jewish captive is redeemed through Tzedakah Captive in Klippa through its indebtedness to Klippa and it's through Tzedakah that that is removed and the heart is once again able to feel in its core and in its essence, in its innerness, the desire, the love for God that transcends intelligence. In the Hayyim game for the eleventh day of Av, the Rebbe writes that the Alta Rebbe went to Mezrich together with his brother, 
the Maharil, Rabbi Huda Leib. And this was in the year Tov Kuf Chov Dalit. The Maharil, Rabbi Huda Leib, went without permission from his wife and therefore had to return had to, in the middle of, of middle of the way. He never reached Mizrich. He had to go back. The al Rebbe did come to Mizrich and he spent there for the first time, his first, first visit. He stayed there until after Pesach of the year Tov Kuf Chof Hei. For two weeks, he was in doubt as to whether to remain or go. And the first two weeks. And the first maimer that he heard from the Magid was the maimer Nachamu Nachamu. And it's not clear whether this was the first maimer that was said when he arrived or this is the first maimer that was said after the two weeks when he had decided to stay and become connected and devoted to the Magid.